Hello, lovely artists. Okay, let's move this to the side and let's have a look at what we are doing over here. So, you've got your piece of paper divided into one, two, three, four sections by folding the paper in half and then folding that again and then you open it and you've got your four fold lines. Painted with black in this section. This is painted with black with some blue. The black and blue mix, if you add white, you're going to paint the color that comes from mixing black, blue and white over here. And this is just blue, sorry, black and white mixed to, to make a gray. Okay, then I want you to get an old toothbrush. There are plenty of these in the classroom. And you're going to have some runny paint like this. And you're going to dip the toothbrush in the paint and watch this. You're going to flick onto, okay, and dip again. You can make big flicks like this and small flicks like that. Okay, I'm going to do a bit of yellow as well. And watch how I flick my fingers across and I get this effect. You can do it this way as well. See how you do that? And you flick, you can flick on some big blobs like this as well. You decide how you want to do it. All right. And I think I'm going to flick some more yellow, like maybe like that. And I'll put some more on this corner over here. All right, so looking quite messy like that. <coughs> okay. That is going to go someplace to dry. Actually, feeling a little bit adventurous, and I'm actually going to add a dash of red to that as well. So hold on just a second. Let's flick off a little bit of red. Just grab this and quickly flicking with a little bit of just a dash of red like this. Okay, and that's going to go off to dry. Right, put that to the side to dry. And here comes my second piece of paper that has been folded into four pieces. Right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to smooth my page out like this and I'm going to take one of these chalk pastels. I'm going to choose three colors, a white, an orange, and some black and I want you to see what I'm going to do. Over here I'm going to draw a circle like this and I'm going to start shading like this making sure that the one side is dark and that there is a part where the light falls. So this part over here is going to be where the light is falling and this part on this side is going to be darker. You see that? <clears throat> I'm going to add to that darkness on this side by adding a little bit of dark and I'm going to smooth it all in. I'm going to make absolutely sure that I've got a section over here on this side that is very light, where the light is falling. Then I'm going to take a yellow, and you guessed it, I'm going to draw a nice big old belt around this. And you start to see what this is. Look at this. 
All right. And I'm going to smudge that like that with my finger and you can lift it up and shake it off to get rid of the excess. Okay, so now I'm going to choose a different color. I'm going to choose a blue. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to draw myself a nice big circle to fill the page. Well, to fill this section. Do you see? I'm not drawing a tiny little thing in the middle. Same thing again. On this side, I'm going to shade in dark. I'm going to use a darker color like this. And watch how I blend with my finger to give this shape like that. So I want this section here to be lighter on this side. I'm even going to leave a white part over here where the light would fall. Okay, so that gets darker and darker on that side. And we're going to leave a white section over there on that side. Let's quickly shake that off and blend that a little bit more like this. Oh, you can see that that actually starts to look like it's got a shape. I'm going to make some pot kind of pitted craters on this. Let me just draw a little bit of detail like this with a black, which I'm going to smudge a little bit like that. And there is my second planet. <clears throat> then I'm going to take another color and make this one green like this, the green planet, why not? Color this, remember this side over here is where the shadow falls. So we're going from lighter to darker. This side is lighter and we're moving over to the very darkest, which is this side over here, like this. And again, we're going to blend all of this. Blend it all in carefully like this. Blend it with your finger. And I'm going to make a section of white and light over here on this side. Look at that. Let's quickly shake off the... That's it. Just shaken off the extra chalk. Now, do you see how incredible this is? I've just blended with my finger and it gives it a 3D effect. So going from the lightest to the darkest with the darkest section over here. For this one, I could even add some black and shade it in a little bit more like that. Look at that. Can you believe it? Let's do the same with this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Adding a little bit of black and just getting a really deep shadow going on that side. Let's see what that does. Oh my goodness. Can you believe these are actually looking 3D? That is how simple it is to create something 3D. And I think with the last one, we'll make a nice big red planet like this. Remember, we're thinking about the side where the shadow is because the light of the sun is falling from this side and the other side is in darkness. So let's use some dark on this side. I'm going to blend it in carefully like that. Let's quickly shake this off. Get off some <clears throat> there we go. And maybe I will add, so you can also vary it up using your pastel to the side or pressing hard or soft on it. Okay, so I'm going to leave a, the white over here where the light is falling. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow onto this like this. Then all of that in. And for this one, Going to add some more red going around like that. Blend it, blend it, blend it. Remember, you must have very light going through to very dark. And I'm going to add a section of very black like this. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Make sure you blend that in really well. And for this one, I'm going to add some nice rings. Why not? 
and some spinning rings like this in different colours. There we go. And we're going to do a different colour like this. And mix it all together like this, and like a swirl. Have a look at that. Okay, this one's going to have two rings, like a double for double ring planet, like this. One ring going there, one ring going there. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to shake this off. And then I'm going to take a pair of scissors. It's a good idea to wipe your hands round about now so you don't smear on your work. You're going to take a pair of scissors. I want you to cut these out. Make sure that you cut off all the white paper so you really get this lovely 3D effect, okay? And here we go, cutting, cutting, cutting. There is my first planet like that. And I'll just quickly slip through over here. Slip through my second planet like this. this white way so you're going to go in like this and don't cut these off just go in like that and cut that away completely with your scissors okay there we go and the same for this one I'm just going to go in like that and carefully cut carefully cut that away right go in like that and like that. That gets thrown away. We've got two of those. And let's put the couple of those out. So they look really nice. These, this one looks a bit like a beach ball. Uh -huh. Okay. That's that one. And my double planet. The double rings. Let's put this one out really quickly. Like this. There we go. All right, I've got my planet ready to go. Now I'm going to go back. Let's just move this to the side. <clears throat> I am going to put my planets onto my piece of paper that I had prepared before. Right, so now the thing that you're going to do is you're going to get your glue and you are going to glue, you're going to put glue on the back now I want you to think very carefully about how you lay these down because all of the shadow sides need to be on the same side, okay? So I've decided that I'm going to make all my shadows falling on that side so my planets all need to be the same because we're showing where the light is falling. Put my glue down. I'm going to put this one over here. Glue that down carefully like this. There we go. Oops. And... This one here, this one is going to live over here, and then the last one is going to live in the last section over here, like that. Oh, you know what, I'm going to change this around. I want this one to be here. And I want this one to be here. I think it looks nicer like that. All right, so now we are nearly finished. Last thing you're going to do, you guys actually have glitter in the classroom. So you're going to put a little bit of glitter on your planets, which I'm doing with glitter glue because I don't have the sprinkly glitter. And you're just going to add some space dust effects as a kind of final thing like that. And maybe I want to put a bit of space dust over here on the spinny thing on this planet, like that. That needs to be glued down a little bit better. There we go. 
right and i think you will find that you have done some very exciting planets that are spinning around in outer space now i could add a little bit of a different color i think i would like to put a little bit of glitter on this background for this one as well like that you can use glitter or glitter sand Good job, guys.